inkproducts.com has now released the very best continuous ink system CIS for Canon. Printers that use the PGI 280 and the CLI 281 cartridges. Now these are going to have the new chips, the unlimited chips, so you never need to replace the chips. Now we make it in the five color system or the six color system. That's our black towers. They protect the ink from dust and light, has an isobaric chamber for controlling head pressure to the printhead. And you'll get all the parts and pieces. Very simple to install. Very simple to install. So I'm going to take you through all the printers and how to install the system. Now when you first get the system, the CIS system from us, you're going to get all the parts and pieces. You should lay them out. There's your cartridge. There's going to be a five color system. It's the black tower. Now when you first take all the wrapping and everything off, we need you. This is very important to lay it down like this. Make sure the plugs are in. Lay it down. And lift it up a little bit. And keep doing that a couple of times. What I'm doing is allowing the ink that got into the isobaric chamber to go back into the front chamber. So that's very important. Going to be removing the red tape. But before we do that, going to need to put in a set of gaskets. Now you get six gaskets for six color system and obviously five gaskets. So that's your first thing you do. As soon as you take it out of the box, check out all your parts and pieces because the main hose bracket like this will be different between the models. So you'll get the right one when you un take it all out of the box. Like I said, they come with the new COC smart chips. Would never be replaced. You'll never need to replace them. You're just going to turn off the ink monitor and you can print continuously. The video is going to show you how to do it and always read the instructions that come with the system because sometimes we make changes that may not be in the video. And then we have videos up there to show you maintenance videos, how to fill the bottles, how to prime up cartridges should, it, should you run it out of ink. Some things that you need to supply, a pair of needle nose pliers and one of these large black paper clips. That's what you have to supply. Now go over here, lift up and go in and see the printer. Now it's kind of dark in here, so I'm going to put a light on. You can see I already started to put the gaskets in. Now here's what the Canon gaskets look like. Little black ones. And we're going to give you a clear type of gasket. These are for CIS cartridges. That's why you have to replace them. And you would go in with a pair of needle nose into the printhead and you'll see the Canon put the light in. It's kind of dark in there. Okay, so you'll see the Canon gaskets and you'll go in, grab it with the needle nose, take it out. And then when you're going to put the other gaskets in, now I've used my fingers, and by the way, if you don't want to get ink on your fingers, wear a pair of rubber gloves. Or I'll pick it up with the needle nose, making sure it goes the correct way, and I'll be able to set it down in there to make sure they're all seated properly. Now after you take your cannon cartridges out, you can use the orange clips to put on those cannon cartridges to save them. So first we have to do replacement of the gaskets. I brought the cartridges over, took them out, and then unplugged the printer. Make sure you do that. So now I'm going to prepare the uh, ink system and show you how to put it in. And I took the red tape off. Got the cartridges here. Now I'm going to take the orange clips off. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to release that front tab by pushing 
and pulling the orange clip off. Then I'm going to slide it off because it's in this little notch here. That's where the little tab is. So you got to be careful, just like when you put it on. You hook it on and then you snap it, unsnap it at there. And every time you do, check to make sure no too much ink isn't dribbling out. That's what you need the paper towel for. Okay, now I unlocked it from the front. And you see, I had to slide it down and out like that. Now you want to save them. Sometimes, this is the exit port. Sometimes you're going to get, have a puddle of ink there. You want to just blot it a little bit. Sometimes you don't. So that's why I said just unsnap it and see you can just slide it down. Just take your time and slide it right on down and right off. There's the little seal on the inside. And by the way, these are the chips. And they're this way we designed the system, if it should ever fail, if it should ever, ever fail, you don't have to throw everything away. You can just get one of these chips and peel and stick it on. Simple. So it's everything designed on this system is so you could repair something that breaks or whatever. You don't have to throw the whole thing away. Okay, now you see the way I'm holding them. I'm going to flip them and drop them in. So I can do this all with one hand. Then I can snap them in. Yeah, six cartridge system, same thing applies. Just do exactly what we did showing the five. You just have one more cartridge. Then you get them in, push them in up front, and then make sure they click in. So I push it in, you hear the click. Okay. That's it. Now I still left the paper clip on, not taking it off yet. I will in the next video, I'll show you how we're going to take this off and you'll be able to do hose travel. The next video we're putting in the um, main hose bracket. Okay, now what I'm going to do is install the main hose bracket. Now you're going to peel and stick it right in the center of the opening right here. I, I made a little mark. I don't know if you can see it. A little magic marker. And then I know I can just go right down like that. Now this sits on the little top shelf here like this. So you get ready to go. Stick it down just like that. Okay, now I peeled it, close that. I see that my little mark is right there. I'm going to go right over that, into the center like that. And I can go from underneath. I got the all the way over to the right. And then I slid it down there, and I put on a slight angle. So it kicks up. You notice that? I have no twists. Right on off, down, across into that bracket. Now I can take them and slide them all the way over. Make sure it makes it over to the left side. Ah, too tight. I feel a little bit too tight there. So what I'm going to do is pull in, give a little extra hose. There you go. Just a little bit. Over to the right and back to the left. If you see it tugging on that bracket, then it's a little too tight. Take your time. Just a little bit more. There we go. Get it down in there. Like I said, I, I kick it up so it's got a slight up, up angle like that. And by the way, you're going to be able to close the lid all the way down to about a half an inch. And all the functions of the feeder will work. Every function will work. So you'll be able to use the dock feeder, the scanner, whatever you want to use. There you go. Now I'm gonna now what I recommend is if you want take a magic marker and mark that position. So if you ever have to remove it, put it back in, you'll know where you're you're close. You're gonna be close. Okay, now we go over here. 
it's come out, the hose is twisted. I took off the paper clip and I'm just gonna untwist the hose. I don't pick it up, I just go along like this and keep untwisting it. Find the right way to untwist. There you go, one more time. That's good enough. And it's gonna go right on the side of the machine. Not higher or lower. Put it right down. Now, one more time, I'm gonna bend it forward, let it sit for a minute, bring it back up, just in case. And then I'm gonna put it in the other clip down below. That's it. That's it. Now at this time, I can remove the air plugs out of the isobaric chambers. There. Now if you were going to fill them, you have to put them in and open up the big one. And then you'll be able to see your ink level right here through the view glass. That's in a kit. That's going to go right into that slot right there. Because see on the printer, they have a, right here. It's going to go down and go in there. Well, it's not going to quite go down all the way because Canon definitely did not give us very much room. I'm sure they knew that. So then what you're going to do is squeeze it, put it in, just push it down, and it should stop. This way, when you go to put the lid down, I usually... If it's going to hit, if that thing is going to hit, then I just kind of bend it over a little bit. You know, like this with my, I just push it over. There. I can close it all the way. Now there's barely, I can barely get my finger in there. Okay, now you should be able to turn it on, and you'll get the cannon come up. Now I say processing. Now I've had this system in before, running copies on it, because I wanted to run some down so I could show you ink levels. And you'll see processing. Please wait. And what I suggest is after you install it, do uh, one deep cleaning to prime everything up in the printhead, save the gaskets that you took out from Canon, in case you ever had to send the printer back, you can put those gaskets back in. Okay, it always kicks out a sheet. It ink levels. And that's going to go down, you're going to get a, a warning, it's getting low, ignore it. Then it's going to come up and show you an exclamation. Then you'll get the big red X. Just keep printing. Then it's going to come up and say, cartridge cannot be recognized and you can't print. But there's going to be an error code right here and there's going to be a stop button. That's when I want you to hold in on that stop button. The instructions explains it. And I'll explain it in the video. And then what that's going to do is shut off that color. So they're all going to be gray. There's not going to be any colors. But the printer doesn't know you have all that ink sitting out there. And all that ink is filling the cartridge. Now you might see a little air bubble like that every now and then. Ignore it. Ignore it. You don't have to worry about that. Now the system's been in for a while, so now we're going to show you how to turn off the ink monitor. you got to follow this and always look at the instructions that we send, because if there's any updates. Now right now, I've got an exclamation on the PG Black. My cyan I've already turned off. My magenta is very close, so I'm going to run solid magentas. And then, I'll be, it'll pop up and we'll go through it in the video what to do. Okay, now it's going to pop up because I ran a double clean cleanings and I ran some full-page magentas. 
Showing the X in the code 1600 says ink may have run out. Well, here's what I want you to do. Don't press the stop button. I want you to say OK. Press OK. It'll go into processing. Okay, now I press the OK. I'm still showing the exclamation on the PG Black. I'm still showing an X on the magenta, and it's showing very little ink. Very little ink. So now I'm going to run off some more solids, um, magenta, and then we'll show you what happens after that code comes up, or the next code that comes up. Okay, now it'll come up and it'll say, printer detected ink out condition replace the ink tank. Now sometimes it'll come up and say are uh, you using counterfeit cartridges or uh, have you bought this cartridge used and stuff like that but normally the code you're looking for is the 1689. Now here's where you're going to hold in the stop button. Hold it in. This can take up to five seconds. There it goes. It goes to processing. Now that's going to shut off as you can see, the magenta. I already had the cyan shut off and the exclamation. Now once they get all turned off, you can print unlimited. Just keep ink in the ink bottles outside. That's it. Now, should you buy a can of cartridge and stick it in right now in that magenta, it, the ink level will come right back up. You don't harm the, the printer. You, and with our system, you can use the dock feeder, you can use the you can use every feature, the scanner and everything. So for continuous printing on the cannons, go to inkproducts.com.